Well, hello everybody. Jet Scott here. It's cold. Excuse me as I walk around and I grab a chair. You know what? We're going to take the stool. We don't want to take up much room. So, hello. It's a little cold today. Winter has finally arrived here in Kansas. Leaves of Prince are all gone and I have long sleeves on. It's not cold enough for an extra coat, but <laughs> it's pretty chilly out here. Um, so, here in a sec, you're going to watch some footage I took when we we're breaking in the cam. Of course, we got our radiator mounted on the engine stand. I did all that one day. And I'll tell you what, that was a pain in the butt. Dad put these braces on it because it was wiggling back and forth. Not real good. But uh engine performed great during the break-in. Now, here's one problem. We do have a huge vacuum leak. Of course, I bought a uh, carburetor adapter. We go from the old two barrel to a modern two barrel uh, deal and it's just a cheap one off eBay it was like 15 bucks and it's leaking really bad bad enough that and you don't want to idle so and when you give it throttle it it you know like a vacuum leak it just stays revved up real long and eventually it closes down and then it will die unless you got a lot of rpm in it so I bought a better quality spacer because I want to hear this engine idle before we start messing with three twos and everything. So we're going to get that fixed. Of course, our oil filter is leaking, our original one, which really is no surprise. Let me just show you. We got the extra long tripod on here today. But uh, yeah, that guy's leaking right there. And that's really no surprise to anybody who's ever dealt with the original style oil filter. So I bought a adapter to put a spin on filter as much as i didn't want to that's what we're gonna do oil is pretty clean i mean it's a fresh engine all new parts in it pretty much except for well new rings bearings all that stuff so there's metal in it and of course all the everything had to get made it together so there's a little bit of nasty inside the oil but it's not bad but uh, i thought i would just uh give you a quick update we're gonna fire it up see if you'll start on this cold day and um, all that jazz. So we're gonna set you back up. I think right here, probably pretty good. What do you think? Tell me guys in the comments, it's a pretty good angle. I hope so. That's where you're sitting. Uh oh, oh, the camera's wanting a little piece of that engine. Jumping forward on me, I don't know why I did that. So, cold start video. <laughs> I got my boots on. I hear you, man. And uh, we're going to give it a pump. Power on. Maybe one more pump. Well, that sucks because I just started this actually a couple seconds ago to make sure it would start. I only let it run for about a second and it started right up. Huh. I guess we're going to play fiddle fiddle. That's all she's saying. She don't want to play no more. Like I said, it's extremely cold, and I got the gas jug filled up on here, so she's just running off what's in the bowl. So don't mind that. She's been acting a lot better than that normally. So for anybody new to this project, this isn't the greatest video series in the world because it's is modern. There's baby early Hemi. People more interested in muscle cars and 426 Hemi's over there, but there's my 3-2 intake that we're going to be putting on this bad girl if everything continues to be nice on this engine like i said we got i didn't tell you but the mufflers are on it these are quiet engine break-in mufflers which you know we're not quiet i did have to re-clock this pipe i had to cut it off right there turn it out and then re-weld it so that way it would clear everything which was fun and of course our vacuum diaphragm is completely blown out on our engine so that's absolutely fun but 
enough rambling from me. Here's the footage I took from when we did the engine break in. Just a short little quick little video just to give you guys an update on what's going on. And hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Well, what's that sound? And we better go investigate what's going on outside. What in the hell's all that racket? That's a little hemi. A little hemi. We've been running for 12 minutes. That's actually longer than that, but. said that we're gonna get a run out of the block Pew! almost uh, i mean it don't idle down very good it's got a vacuum leak have a vacuum leak yeah i think we definitely got a vacuum leak i don't know if that you know that scripture hot might be leaking yeah it may not be any good but there she is <laughs> 